Let's add custom villager types to Minecraft. New topics added to the Forge and Fabric courses such as tameable and writable entities, projectiles, throwable projectiles and boats, as well as first steps to biomes and dimensions. Courses linked in the description below. Alright, we've back and tell more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding a custom villager types to Minecraft. So this is going to be a custom villager and for this, first of all, we need a new package over here. That's going to be the villager package. And inside there, we'll make one new Java class called the Mod Villagers class. There we go. And in here, we'll actually need two deferred registers because we need two different things that we're going to register. The first one is a public static final deferred register of, of type poi type called poi underscore types. And this is going to be equal to a deferred register dot create forge registries dot poi types and then tutorial mod dot mod ID. There we go. And the second one is the public static final deferred register of type villager profession this is going to be the villager underscore professions equal to deferred register dot create or registries dot of course villager professions tutorial mod dot mod id and as always of course all of the code is available to you in the description below in the github repository and for a deferred register we need a register method here with an i event bus called event bus where we call called both the poi types that register passing in the event bus as well as the villager professions register and passing in the event bus over here as well and of course we want to call that register method right here so there's going to be mod villagers dot register passing in the mod event bus awesome and with that done we first of all want to register the poi type so that's going to be a public static final registry object of type poi type called the sound underscore poi and this is going to be equal to poi types dot register First name is going to be the sound underscore poi. Then a supplier of a new poi type passing in an immutable immutable set dot copy of mod blocks dot sound block. So in this case, we're going to have the sound block as the workstation dot get dot get state definition dot get possible states. After the second closing parenthesis, we're going to do a comma and then do one and one. And you can see the numbers over here is the max ticket. So basically, how many villagers can actually take jobs from this particular site, how close they have to be to actually get that particular job, basically. The reason why we have to do this crazy stuff with the immutable set and the definitions over here is because the sound block in the, our case is just a block that has one particular block state. However, we have to get all possible block states so that it doesn't matter what the actual state of the block is. All of them can be the point of interest to get the particular profession that we're going to add in just a second. And also quite important, if you middle mouse button click on poi type and middle mouse button click here again to go to the poi type class over here, you're going to see the bootstrap method that has some things already registered, such as, you know, for the toolsmith here, the smithing table and stuff like that. But it also has the beehive as well as the bee nest. This is a thing that a lot of people run into when they want to add like apiary or bee villagers. You cannot make a new poi type for blocks that already have a poi type. That means if you want to try to register this via the beehive, it will not work. You will get an error and there's all sorts of complicated stuff to do with mixins and how you can do that. Personally, I suggest just staying away from it. There might be some mods on the internet that might be able to help you with that. But yeah, I personally would just stay away from that. That is the easiest way to just use either custom blocks or blocks that are not being used already. And now for the profession, that's going to be a public static final registry object of type villager profession this is going to be the sound underscore master and this is going to be equal to villager professions dot register it's going to be the sound master there you go and this is then equal to a new villager profession with the name sound master after which we want to do holder and then we're going to say holder dot get and this is going to be equal to the sound poi dot get third parameter is going to be a holder again it's going to be a holder again and then there you go there's going to be a holder dot get equal to sound poi dot get then we get two immutable sets dot of and they're going to be both empty immutable set dot of again there you go just empty and the last one is going to be sound events dot let's do the villager work uh, let's do armor that's going to be okay there you go so what is happening here well if we go into the new villager profession over here you can see that there are a couple of things the first one is of course the name that's fair enough right basically you have different poi types so for example for the farmer right we have the we have the job side of composter where they acquire the job however holding the job also includes the other poi type of farmland right so that's why we have the secondary poi over here as well 
for the farmland, for example, as you can see here. And then here are, is an immutable set of items that is going to be the requested items. So you can take a look at that as well. That will be the villager profession class. So you can take a look at that. In general, for what we're doing is we're just saying, hey, basically you work and you can get the profession at the sound poi, which in our case is going to be the sound block. Okay, then let's add the translation over here because we do need to add this. So this is going to be Entity Minecraft Villager Tutorial Mod Sound Master. So this is going to be the Sound Master. So this, this is going to display in the GUI or in the GUI when you are trading with the particular villager. We also need the texture for the profession. This goes under Textures Entity in a new directory called Villager in a, another new directory called Profession. And then the PNG is just called the same as the name over here in this case sound master there you go that is not quite all because we need two more things of course we need to add a certain trades we're going to do that once again via the villager trades event that we've seen in the last tutorial but we also need a new class for data gen because the actual sound point or point of interest needs to be added to a tag and this is going to be in the data gen package new java class and this is going to be the mod poi type tags provider which will extend the poi type tags provider hover over this create constructor matching super we're going to take the one that is not strike through and we can we can delete the mod id and just add this as tutorial mod mod id there you go and then we want to override the add tags method and here we want to say tag passing in poi type tags dot acquirable job site dot add optional with a new resource location, tutorial mod, .mod ID, and this is going to be the sound underscore poi. There you go, the name right here has to, of course, match the name given right here. That's very important. Using it with an optional is the best way that I found this to work. If you know alternative way to actually reference the sound poi, then please do tell. I have not been able to get that to work previously, so there you go. But that is totally fine. This will work, so in the data generators, we can then just duplicate this one right here, say mod poi type tax provider and passing in the lookup pro provider as well as the existing file helper over here. And then that's going to be okay. Let's immediately just run the data over here. Otherwise, we might just forget that. And that is going to generate our custom tag that we're going to need. And once that is done, we can then add some trades as well. There we go. The poi type added. And now we can go on to the mod events class and add some trades over here. In this case, you would, of course, then filter once again via the type. And you would say mod villagers dot sound master dot get in the if statement. We once again need the int to object map right here. And then we can just, well, do the same thing, right? So we could, in theory, just like copy this over. Instead of an enchanted book, maybe this guy is going to get us the modblocks.soundblock.get and maybe only one of them. So for 32 animals, ah, let's say 16. So for 16 animals, we might get the sound block right here. And you can then, of course, also go up in trades, right? You can add as many trades as you want over here. There you go. So let's say six for... What else can we get? Maybe we want to get the, I don't know, maybe the Sapphire Ore or something like that. Just like something wacky, something crazy over here with a few different numbers. As always, of course, always play around with those numbers. Keep it interesting and, and just play around with it. This would then also be how you would add the item listings or the trades to that particular villager. And once we've done all of that, we can jump into the game and see if it works. All right, fans, let's back in Minecraft. If I spawn a villager right here, you will see that it will take on the sound block. And you can see this is the sound master. We can get some sound blocks from him. And once we actually level him up, there we go. We can now also get the sapphire or, of course, a little bit of a weird trade right here. But regardless of that, we basically now have a sound master journeyman over here. And yeah, that is how easy it can be to add a custom villager type. To Minecraft. As I've already said, all of the code is available to you in the description below in the GitHub repository, but that's already going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time, we'll add custom sounds in a sound group to Minecraft. Hope to hear you there. So, yeah.